Welcome guys to the Clo Adventure Channel. My name's Craig. Uh, today we're doing something a bit different. Um, as you know, I do a little bit of 3D printing and I did a whole bunch of modifications to my 3D printer and wanted to print something, see how well it was. And those of you that are used to 3D printing know what the little benchy is. It's a little test thing. And so it's a little boat. And I says, I want to do something different. If I'm going to print something, I want to print something that uh, I could actually use. So what I did is I printed a muffler, a suppressor, uh, a baffle. I don't care what you want to call it for the Benjamin Armada. Um, so it, it, what, what had happened is some of the baffles on the inside broke and I reprinted uh, a little baffle. So I wanted to say, you know, wonder what would happen if you printed a big one. So that's what I did is I printed a, a big one. This slips right onto the front here. And as I was doing it, I said, uh, you know, might be better if we printed a couple of them. And the whole insides are different. I'll show you as I put this on, uh, I'll show you over here what the inside of each one's look like. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this on, we're going to fire three shots, and we're just going to see what the uh, audio meter does and see if they actually do any good so i'm shooting the benjamin pointed 14.3 uh, grain pellets uh, i got a fully charged uh, air in there i got 3000 psi which is the hair over but i got about 3000 psi so it should be able to shoot uh, 12 shots all with the same amount of air pressure so let's let's start right now by getting a benchmark, we're going to uh, shoot three shots just with the normal stock um, equipment that comes with it, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, there's something else I'll, I'll do. Let's do a, a comparison right now. I'm going to clap three times just to get an idea so that you guys have an idea of how loud this actually is. I mean, it, it's, I mean we can tell with numbers, but at least you'll understand a normal clap is a certain uh, decibel level. So we'll come over here. We're going to put this to maximum. So as we're talking, talking is about uh, 79 dB. So we're going to give one clap. It's 100. Go back. And 99. Hundred and four. So a clap, a normal clap, is about a hundred and four. So let's shoot three. Let's get some pellets. Alrighty. Well, um, our for some reason our camera stopped, so we're gonna. Try the three shots over again. So we're here at the first one. Uh, that's 110. Second shot. And the third shot. Number three. Okay, so that's our benchmark. We're uh, somewhere around that 110. So uh, give me a second and we're going to change out the baffle on the end. Well, we have uh, four of them that we have and I've marked each one with a piece of tape so we can tell what's different. So we're going to put on the first one. And again, they'll clamp on kind of tight, but right now we're just going to push it on. Uh, where's our... Audio meter, auto meter is set. So here's the first of three shots. One. Two. It's a much 
tinier pop. I don't know if you can hear it on the, one more, uh, if you can hear it. It's a much, much higher pitched. It is a little bit lower, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, we're gonna take off C. Put on D. There's D. We gotta take out one extra baffle on these next ones. There's D. Okay, we're gonna try Let's clear this. And a quick three shots. And we're out of pellets. Shot number two. It's even lower. And shot number three. Okay. Take off D. And put on E. Reset this. Prop another quick three. That was one. That was two. And this will be three. Off with this one and on to this one. I printed this one in yellow because I got two printers and was printing two at the same time and didn't want to wait for the other one. So that one's ready for there. Oh, let's reset this. Do a quick three. Okay, let me uh, crunch all the numbers. I'll make a little chart and that kind of stuff to show you each one, uh, and we'll go from there. Uh, get back to you in just a minute. Well, I'm back. I crunched some numbers, put them all together, and we came up with version F, and I'll show you that bigger on the screen. Version F had a typical design of the large chamber in the front slowly gets smaller with a couple of fins that seemed to be the quietest at 101.1 db on an average of three shots the clap that we did is a just to give you an idea of the uh, decibel level of that was 101.5 so version f came out actually quieter than that the overall bench the benchmark with the stock baffles in it was 110.2 on average. So it seemed to be pretty good. What I'm looking for you is if you have a better design or an idea of what I could do to do better, make it quieter, I'm, I'm all ears. Another thing I need you to do is if you like this, hit that subscribe button. At least hit the button up above that says like. 
leave a comment, do something. I am doing my hardest to try to get to a thousand subs before the end of the year. I'm at the time of this video, I'm at 191 or 192. So I'm only 20% of the way there. I need your help. So I'm here pleading with you to hit that subscribe button and see if we can make it to a thousand. I don't know what we'll do at a thousand, but we're far away from there. I got plenty of time to think about it. Again, guys, if you like this, keep coming back. Keep, uh, I'll keep putting these out. Enjoy it. Have a good day. Talk to you guys later.